matches. As a batting coach, what do you attribute this to? Is it the, are the pitches or are the batsmen not being adventurous enough, or are they not able to produce this kind of shots? What what exactly is going wrong? Uh, one of the factors is definitely the pitch. I think when we bat first on these surfaces, even though it doesn't look very uneven or any, any such thing, but there is variation in pace and bounce. So uh, strike rotation is an issue. It's not only with our team. I think every team which has batted first, this has been an issue. Uh, unfortunately, I agree with you. The big shots we were not able to execute well. So that will happen once in a while in a, in, in a game. And I think, unfortunately, that happened with us in the last game. That nobody really could execute the big hits that they were trying to play. But as such, I think it's it's more to do with the surface that we've been playing on. Thank you, Vikram Bhai. Uh, my question is: You have been with the team for two years. Uh, there has been highs and there has been lows. Like, how do you sum up? uh this journey of yours with the team for two years and uh, what's your plan going into the future after the world cup because we all know that ravi bhai bharat sir sridhar they are all moving on so what's your plan if you could just tell us a bit like uh, would you like to continue uh, what's there in your mind i thought this this pc was for the to, for the world cup but anyways i can answer this question so the experience has been great i mean it has been a great learning experience it's great to work with the team of such uh, highly motivated and skillful players so it's been good experience uh, going forward i have already applied for my batting coach's job and if i get that job so there will be a lot of work to be done so we'll take it as it goes my dear jo boss and then arani basu and followed by rasesh mandani Yeah, Vikram bhai, uh, you know, generally we have seen over time that you know, for every slot in the Indian batting lineup, we've had backups. Do you feel somewhere going into this tournament, not really having a finisher apart from Hardik, is something that might have not worked in our favor? I don't agree. I think we have Jadeja in the in the team as well, who I think is a fabulous uh, finisher. Um, players like Surya, players like Virat, who have done really, really well for us in the past. So we have enough players who can. Who can do that job, and they have done it in past. So don't see that an issue. And of course, when you're picking a team for World Cup, you always have this slight restriction where you can only pick 15. So that's the way it is, and that's that's what you have to play with. So, but I think we have enough in our batting. I mean, unfortunately, as I said earlier, we were not able to execute our plans, what we want to do, what we are capable of doing. But uh, don't see it in, an issue that. Uh, you know we have lot, lots of players who can do that. Vikram Bhai, when you took over as a batting coach two years ago, you spoke about playing playing fearless T Twenty cricket that we need to go hard from the beginning till the end. But uh, that's not been happening over the past few matches also, and uh, even the last England series that we had played before the IPL in March, that was a problem, and. Uh, and an extension to that previous question also is that are there too many players who are playing in the top four in the ipl for two uh, there so they are not accustomed to bat at number 6 or 7 or go for the big hits there are less players who can go from ball one uh, in the back end of the innings because when you see the most of these players are batting at, in, in the top four in the ipl but i think that will happen with any team any international team will go through that no i mean when you're playing for your states Or for your, for your county team, you always tend to bat in in top four. But in India, when you get to Indian team, of course, uh, there's a there's a batting order, and you need to bat at maybe at a different number. But being a professional cricketer, I think you should be accustomed to do that. You should be able to deal with these kind of situations, and we've done that uh, in past. Uh, I'm surprised when you're saying that we haven't done well coming into World Cup. I thought we were one of the better teams for past two years in T20 T20 format. We virtually won every series that we played. Uh, so last two games, yes, it hasn't gone our way. But as I said earlier, that might happen. You know, that that is what this game is all about. We um, come a couple of things uh, on. Uh, were you particularly disappointed with the way the middle overs went in the game against New Zealand, where the TV spinners were able to sort of squeeze the runs? And uh, looking ahead in the next match, would the team be chasing the run rate the way points table are, or are you looking for a way? Sorry, sorry. Can you repeat your question? I couldn't. I didn't get you. Uh, 
for my first question was uh, were you particularly disappointed with the way the middle overs went against new zealand where the kiwi spinners were able to sort of squeeze the runs and uh, next question is on the upcoming game whether uh, the team would be chasing the run rate or would you be looking for a win we need to win first before we get into the run rate part of part of the equation uh, about your first first question uh, it's not uh, it's not about me getting disappointed i think the players were disappointed the way the game the game went but as i said earlier uh, this surface uh, it's difficult to rotate strike because the pace and bounce is slightly variable and it's not i'm not again saying it's not only our team i think every team which has batted first on this on this on these surfaces have struggled to do that uh so again but uh, if you want to be a champion team if you want to be a team which wins world cup you should be able to deal with situations you should be able to play in these conditions as well so that's what i think our focus is from now onwards you need to still find ways to score runs and rotate strike against spinners and every batter will have a different way of doing that so they need to find their own strengths and back those strengths gopal krishnan vishwanath and then uh, rahul rawat and rikar Yeah, Molin, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, Vikram uh, Vishwanath here. I just want to know, Rohit has played over a hundred matches. Uh, was his concern taken before he was sent one drop before the, in the match against New Zealand? And whose decision? Who took the call? Actually, who initiated the idea of sending uh, Ishan Kishan with the uh, KL Rahul as opener? So how things went was that uh, Surya was uh, having some back spasm the previous night, so he was deemed out of uh, the. he was not fit enough to take the be in the playing 11 so the person coming in was of course ishan and ishan has done really well as an opener in ipl and in past for indian team as well and about who took that call i think it's the whole management who sits together and take this call and of course rohit is part of that that group so he was of course part of that group and that discussion where it was discussed which tactically made sense having a left hander up up front and because we didn't want it we didn't want too many left handers in the late middle order with uh, ishan uh, pant and uh, jadeja so technically it made sense you know and uh, that guy has batted well at top of the order so yeah that is why the decision was taken yeah, thanks uh, rohit part of Rika, if you want to go now. Hi, Vikram. Good morning, Vikram. My question really is: I know a lot of uh, the followers and the lovers of the game are sitting with their calculator out. Is the Indian cricket team, the Indian cricket management, sitting and the captain sitting with his calculator out as well? Not really. We we won't be good at maths anyways. Being cricketers, so uh, I think at this time, at this this moment, the focus is to play good cricket, to win games, to to win the remaining three games. I think this calculation will come into picture or you know come into focus when we get to the last game and when the other results are out. So at this moment, no, there's no focus on uh, calculating any of the run rates or anything. We're just looking to play well and you know, sort out our issues and get into the game and win the game. Last few questions, Shami. Thank Kandra. you and good luck. Thanks. Thanks. Shami Chakravarti. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Hi, hi, Vikki Bhai. Vikki Bhai. Ah, uh, Indian bowlers are taking just two wickets in two matches. Uh, of course, it is related to bowling, but ah, uh, from the management's point of view, that must be disappointing. And where where do you think uh, they have gone wrong or they are fall they fell short? few factors involved of course uh, execution could be better definitely we could have bowled better uh, secondly i think the wicket definitely eases up when you're bowling second and thirdly i think we didn't really put up enough enough runs on the board to create that pressure once you are looking to defend only 110 so it gets easier for the team batting second so i won't put too much out into that so of course as i said earlier the execution can be better and we can definitely improve In the areas that you are bowling, and you know, if we can execute the plans that we are planning, or we are having these lot lots of bowlers meetings where you have your plans against every batter, so those can be definitely executed better. Thank you. 
the work you've done. Rahul Rawat. Uh, hi, Vikram. Uh, is there a possibility that we can see a leg spinner or uh, another spinner in the Indian 11, considering it uh, the Abu Dhabi ground is a bigger one? And, uh, you know, every country is doing so well, uh, especially their leg spinners are doing so well. And uh, But India, unfortunately, uh, cannot play a leg spinner in the uh, 11. I think all 11 are, uh, you know, available for selection. And we haven't really sat down yet. Uh, to discuss the 11 for tomorrow's game but as i said all it, all 15 are you know in the focus and anybody can be picked depending on what we feel the surface and the, the conditions are going to be so i won't rule anybody out at this stage final question now subhan chakravarti uh, hi coach uh, just wanted to know a bit about uh, afghanistan team uh, we know that they are pretty good in the shortest format of the game and have played some brave cricket. So, where do you think the threat lies when it comes to Afghanistan's uh, Afghanistani team? Thank you. Uh, of course, they're they're a good team and they have done well. So, I think the the challenge will be their, their spinners. And if we can bat to our potential, we we as I said earlier, we have a tremendous, uh, a very skillful player set of players with us who have done.